Keiko and today I'm going to show you how I take white fat and dye it into lots of pretty little colors so that you have an assortment of fun colors to needle felt or wet felt with. And I will also show you how I dye locks into pretty colors also. Okay, so let me start with the supplies. You'll want some bats and Sorry about that. And some locks. You'll want some water, a Pyrex, or something that can go in a microwave. Let me just get that out of the way. Um, some fun colors. So these are Kool-Aid packs that um, I just get them at the grocery store. These do not have sugar in them and they already have citric acid in them so that it sets the dye. So it's like one packet with water and you can pretty much dye your fiber. And I have used or recycled plastic bags that I usually use as well. Okay, so just so you have a rough idea of how much I'm using, I'm going to be using, hopefully you can read that, 0.25 ounce of that, and which is about seven to eight grams um, of fiber um, per little dye experiment. And this is also the same way. Okay, so what I like to do is just put in, let's see, I'm gonna get some pink. I think I'll go with this pink lemonade. And you can mix colors um, as well as, um, always you can darken it too. So I'm just gonna put the whole packet in and then I'm going to, th there's about a cup of water in here. So I'm gonna put in about half. Let's try that. And you can pre-wet your um, bat, but I'm just gonna put this in, maybe like that. And to keep it mess-free, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And then, um, oops, too much air. <laughs> okay, so. And then I'm going to sort of let it sort of massage the color in and get the water in there. So this is about half a cup of water and I just use room temp, but you could probably use a little bit warmer. Okay, so that's probably a pretty good amount for a little packet. Okay, so that's one of them. I'm going to go ahead and do my locks too. So I have a kind of a big bag, <laughs> but let's see if I can just put that in there. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one's watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> yeah, these are expired. <laughs> Had them for a little while. But they're fine. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the other half cup in. Oh, that's a different pink. Okay. And then I'm going to throw the locks in. And then I'm going to go ahead and soak it as best I can. Okay. So once you get a couple of these bags done like this, maybe two at a time or so, I mean, you can do as many as you want, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go take this and microwave it. So, um, yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So I'm back with, um, I microwaved it, I think on high for about one minute. And um, you can do it in 30 second increments, especially if you're only doing one at a time. And what I'm looking for is, okay, so you see there's a little bit of water that's, um, oh, I'm sorry, that was too high. Okay, there, all right. You see this water right here that you can see? Let me see if I can tip it over. Okay, yeah, right, okay, this is great. Right here, sorry, <laughs> that, when it's clear like that, that's like done because it means all the dye that was probably available in here is already soaked up in your wool. So at this point, um, 
I'm going to go wash this in cold water. So this one's done. And looking at the other one, okay, so this is the lock. So this one. So there's two things I could probably do. I may have been able to add more locks to this one because it looks like there's still some dye in there or this fiber didn't particularly take the dye as well as this wool. So I think I'm gonna go maybe microwave it for another 30 seconds and see what it does and then I'm gonna go ahead and wash this and I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and washed this in cold water. And at this point, it shouldn't stain or anything because all the dye was um, taken up in this fiber. But now you've got this beautiful pink. And now I'm going to put it outside and let it dry. And once it's dry, you can um, needle felt or uh, wet felt with it, however you, and you like. So this is only 0.25 ounces. But if you have one ounce of um, white, wool you can create four different colors with four packets of kool-aid and um, really you know have a lot more fun okay so let me look at what happened to my locks okay so i put it in for another well actually it was about a minute and i pulled it out at about 50 seconds or so so it was another minute and now you can see it really different so this lock even though it's the same 0.25 ounces needed an extra minute or so close to a minute for it to um, take up the dye but now that you've got white kind of not quite clear but whitish um, liquid and then the color of the locks is darker it's mostly um, taking it in so now I'm gonna go ahead and go dump this and wash it and then I'll show you my final um, locks <laughs> Okay, so now you can see that I've washed the locks and it's really a pretty bright color. It's really nice and dark. And then this is the um, other bat that we dyed. And so now I'm going to take these outside and dry it and I'll start making more colors. Hope you liked it. Enjoy. Have fun. Bye.